All right, so we have a screen seven update to talk about today, and that's because we haven't been keeping up with, with the updates about what, what what's been going on behind the scenes of this movie, especially what what's been going on online, all the controversy, and and that is starting from Melissa Barrera being fired from screen seven, all, all because of, of her comments uh, on her Instagram story about the recent events that have been happening, and with along with Jenna Ortega has also been and not being a part of the project, and also with Christopher Landon, the director of the movie, is also. Not, not not going to be attached to the seven screen film as well, and that's where I follow today's update, and, and that's with Christopher Landon like is on board with his next horror film to direct after being dropped from Scream 7 as well, and that's what I'm doing for guys in this video, is uh, breaking down all, all the news and uh, what this means for this franchise and even uh, for what we should know about going forward as well. And so if you're new, then be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so if it's on any future videos. So let's just hop into it. And now, as I mentioned, this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. They're saying that with Christopher Landon is now going to be attached to direct another horror movie called Big Bad, which is a werewolf movie from Lionsgate, especially while the behind the scenes and the updates from Melissa Brera being fired, and now with Jenna Ortega, who's also not, not going to be a part of this movie. And even as you look at this entire thing as a whole, I mean, I, I like the last Scream movie, Scream 6, it became the number two highest grossing movie of all time. And even that, that's probably not going to be Scream 7. And I think it's could mark the end of the franchise, but even with Spyglass and Paramount, if they decide to move forward with the next Scream movie, it'll probably be piss off like a lot of fans and I mean I probably not gonna make fans happy and even with uh, getting a new cast and even with, with and like to bring back uh, Nev Kimball's Sydney Prescott and I, I think they should not move forward with, with the next screen movie and it's just like cancel it all together and especially with this news coming out that Christopher Landon is now attached to a, a new horror movie and th this happened like so quick and I, I think that this is a pretty big mess. And now, essentially, for what this big bad or werewolf movie is going to be about, with Christopher Landon attached as going to be directing this movie, it's basically going to be about a short story added from Chandler Baker. Even for what the plot of this movie is going to be, it's about a dysfunctional family and that is surrounded by wolves. And even with this being a werewolf horror movie, and with Christopher Landon being attached to direct this movie so soon, especially after being not being attached to Scream Seven and just walking away from the project. I think that this could be an awesome opportunity, especially as I love Christopher Landon's work, especially from Happy Death Day and Freaky, and even that he who he wrote the, the screenplay for the Paranormal Activity franchise, and even with, with him being like in the horror movie space, which he's mostly known for, I think with Bay Bad, I, I think I'm, I, I'm really looking forward to that, and even with, with him not being a part of Scream 7, and you, you know that he, he's a, a huge fan of Scream, and with Wes Craven, and even that he, he was going to pay off his legacy and even for, for, for all of the ideas that he had planned for the next screen movie and, and, and now with that next screen movie is probably not going to even happen it, it, it's because with, with Christopher Landon is now going to be on board to direct another horror movie which this sounds pretty interesting especially involving a werewolf and now especially with my honest thoughts on all this and what all they're having so fast with Christopher Landon as now going to direct another horror movie and it's involving a werewolf but even with the next Scream movie it's probably not, not going to even happen at all with Scream 7 and I, I was really looking forward to it as especially when I was excited for when th this man got announced to uh, direct Scream 7 I mean I, I admire his work and, and, I, and I was so excited to see him of what he can do with the next Scream franchise I mean I, I was pretty sure he, he was going to crush it but even with all the behind the scenes drama and the controversy and especially with with our two main stars that are not not going to be a part of this project and that and and this franchise has now fallen apart but even when like the next screen movie is going to happen but i think with with the next movie it's probably going to be, be put on hold i think it's gonna shop around to like other d distributors and, and to other studios as well but it, you, you, so i think we, we should just leave the franchise alone and i think scream 6 ended on a good note i thought it was a great conclusion to this franchise and had one of those gory kills especially with Ghostface. face plus i mean i love this franchise and this is the go-to like horror movie franchise with the sydney prescott as the ultimate of final girl but uh, I'm just, you know, I feel like terrible and, and sad about all, all this and, and, and now the next screen movie is probably not, not going to even happen. 
And on top of that, with Nev Campbell herself, who, who has been asked if she is willing to return to the franchise, and if she was going to, under the right circumstances, and they pay her the uh, pay rate that she deserves, because because even though that we didn't see her in the last three movies, Scream Six, and uh, with her absence, which was totally fine, but I, I think with with last Scream movie, I, I didn't have her. It, it became the highest grossing movie. I think that like it might not work. Especially with everything that we know about Christopher Landon's next horror movie like with Big Bad. And I like the premise of this, especially involving a werewolf. And on top of that, we're also getting another werewolf movie coming out in October of this year from Blumhouse titled Wolfman. And now that we have two werewolf movies possibly coming out. And like, I feel like this could be a fun horror movie. This could be like another cool project and especially with it not being a part of the next screen movie but i think with this werewolf movie that is basically in a horror genre i think it sounds pretty dang good and so for my final thoughts that i'm glad that christopher landon has moved on to his next horror movie especially involving a werewolf and from lionsgate and this sounds like a really cool horror movie to me i mean i'm happy to check this out from when whenever we get footage or something like that but i think landon is definitely going to crush it with this film and even not being a part of the next scream franchise i mean i think me at the franchise it is done i think it ended on a good note but even with all the controversy and updates and wellness and I, I think we should at least so uh, wait wait it out but, but I, I think the, this next horror movie at uh, Christopher Landon is now going to be directing it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool and I can't wait for it as well and so that is going to be it for this video and just let me know your guys thoughts in the comments down below and uh, what thoughts on all this news or uh, what thoughts on Christopher Landon directing a werewolf horror movie from Lionsgate and not directing the next screen movie even though that he, he's been like not, not, not gonna be attached to it anymore but let me know your, your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos and also follow my social which links down below and with that i'll see y'all next video peace